The following video will show you how to very quickly strip down and reassemble the gearbox for the A200 mixer. To protect your skin from any possible infection you should always wear the company provided latex gloves. Remember these machines have very sharp edges. Never grab a shaft by its keyway as this can leave you with a very nasty cut. Always ensure that you've disconnected the electrical supply to this machine before carrying out any work whatsoever shown in this video. This machine has been pre-configured to make it easier for filming purposes. First of all we're going to disconnect the gear change. Remove the four screws shown in this clip. It doesn't really matter if we take the gear change off now or later but for the benefit of this demonstration we're going to do it first. This would be a good time to check the condition of the grease and decide whether it needs replacing or not. Next we need to remove the lid from the machine. Take out the long screw shown in this picture. A bit later on we're going to reuse this screw to prise the lid off the gearbox. Having removed the cover it would now be good practice to block off the hole where the motor is with some tissue paper or a cloth. This will stop you losing any screws into the motor area which would be lost for good. Now you need to remove all of the screws that hold the grease caps in place. These are the ones with the domes or hat shaped covers. Depending on the age of your machine, the worm gear shaft may have a circlip, as shown in this picture, or a nut. Either way this needs to be removed. Then using a socket or a spanner, take the nut from the center shaft. Below this will be a thrust washer. Remove both. Next we're going to remove the planetary. First of all the dome nut has to be removed. The dome nut there is to stop any food etc collecting around the edge of the shaft so therefore this nut must always be replaced. Once you've removed the dome nut there's a flat nut to remove. Once you've got that off and its supporting washer very carefully and very slowly drop the planetary. Then we're going to remove the key and if we can the spacer. Once again remember the key shafts are very sharp and you should not hold on to these. Now go to the top of the machine once more and remove the remaining nut on the transmission shaft. And now we're about to remove the cover for the gearbox. Undo the four screws that you can see in this clip. Whilst this is being done you can see the two inspection covers for the grease, these are the large circular discs, and also a threaded bolt which seems to be upside down and being secured by a nut. This is a deflector for the grease from within the gearbox. Please do not undo this bolt. Now take the screw that you removed from the cover originally. Place this into the hole that you see in this clip and very slowly wind it down until the cover comes loose. With a couple of large screwdrivers you should be able to free the cover and lift this off by hand. Using both hands place your fingers underneath the bevel gear and this will lift off the slow speed gear also at the same time. Within the slow speed gear is a friction clutch that only drives in one direction so if you did invert the slow speed gear you would lose speed number one. Next lift out the worm gear and transmission shaft together. Now place an allen key into the shaft for the gear change. Rotate this and at the same time undo the nut below where you remove the planetary. Once you've done this the shaft will now lift out. And finally we're going to remove the center shaft complete. Refit the nut that you removed earlier, this is really just to protect your fingers. Lift out the shaft and gear shifter complete. All that's remaining is the lower gear along with its bush and a washer or thrust washer for the lower bearing. If any grease or oil has leaked into the planetary at any time, you must replace the oil seal. Now we're going to reassemble the machine. First of all, fit the thrust washer profile downwards, the lower gear along with its bush. Very carefully lower the center shaft back down into the bush and place the shifter yoke in its rough position. Next, drop in the worm gear and the transmission shafts. These should sit quite comfortably together. Now you can remove the nut from the center shaft, line up the shifter yoke, reinsert the shaft. Remember you need to fit the nut underneath the machine once more. 
and you will need to tighten the shaft. In the example earlier we used an allen key because it's convenient and happens to be the right shape or of course you can use some other instrument such as a screwdriver. Be sure the shaft is securely tightened. In a moment we're going to refit the slow speed gear. Remember we took this off along with the bevel gear so that we didn't disturb any settings. Reinsert the key, locate the bevel gear and slow speed gear assembly, very carefully drop this onto the shaft. Do not use excessive force, this should slide down quite easily. Look at the following clips carefully. These hollow washers are special. The hollow end must face downwards. At this stage it makes sense to put grease into the gearbox. One kilogram of multi-purpose grease is what's required. Excessive grease causes leaks from the joints or seals. So take care when doing this job. Now refit the cover. As you can see the bearings are somewhat loose, these need to be just gently pushed into place. Now remove the long screw that you used earlier to prise off the cover. When refitting the cover, tap this down with a soft metal hammer or plastic mallet. Then tighten the four screws. Never use the screws to tighten the cover. Always tap this down with the mallet first. This will make sure the cover is in direct contact with the transmission case. As you will have noticed, there are two pins that the cover has to locate over first. These pins are used to mesh the gears. This was done originally by the factory. And the pins must always be in place. Now we need to refit the nuts on the top of the transmission shaft. These are self-locking nuts. The washer goes onto the center shaft. Once again, a locking nut is fitted. Now's a good time to refit the planetary. So first of all, slide the spacer up into the oil seal. Next, fit the long key into its keyway. Remember, keyways are very sharp, so please mind your fingers. Next, you're going to put the planetary up onto the shaft, but before you do, smear 50 milligrams of Chevron FM grease, NLG1, food grade grease this is. Fit the flat washer and flat nut. Please make sure the flat nut is tightened hand tight only. And when it comes to fitting the dome nut, this should be locked into the flat nut so that neither of these can come loose. Usually it's best to finally tighten this locking nut once the planetary has been fitted. On the older AE200s, you should never over tighten this nut, otherwise you'll find that you only have speeds number 2 and 3 and seem to have lost speed number 1. Once again, we need to fit either a circlip or a locking nut, depending on the age of the machine. This fits over the worm gear shaft. Once all the clips or nuts have been fitted, it's now time to fit the grease caps. It's important that these are fitted to stop grease leaving the bearings. Now don't forget to remove the protective tissue we installed earlier. Then fit the lid and the long screw. And remember, once handling these kind of machines, it really would be a good idea to give the machine a clean afterwards. Before we run the machine, we need to fit the gear change. This gear change could have been fitted earlier, doesn't really matter too much. But just for convenience, we've decided to do it last. Before you're able to run this machine, you'll need to raise the bowl lift and also make sure that the bowl guard is in place and installed correctly. We've now reached the end of the video. As you can see, it wasn't too difficult to dismantle and reassemble this gearbox. It's more practical to take the shafts out fully assembled where you can. Dismantling the machine piece by piece doesn't always work out, especially if you knock the pieces over and you can't remember the order they went in. Thank you for watching.